I was told there was a water leak. There's not a water leak. You guys have that same problem? Dispatch says water leak, you show up, they're like, nah, it's just not cool. It's on this side. It's like a front row of offices over here. So, they said they didn't think it was cooling. Alright. So we got new mixed with old. I got cooling here. I got cooling here. This feels a little cold. Like I don't... Yeah, maybe it's one stage. Open this up. keep my water from getting everywhere first thing I notice is this looks like a temperature switch freeze stat or something it's broke so that's gonna have something locked out I would assume the economizer here is close to this looks like a two-stage unit and Maybe they're using orange for second stage. Uh, let's get into the control panel on this one. I'm gonna assume this is my problem. Because there's two compressors. And somebody left me a light inside. I can see it, it's a work light right there. Let's take that control panel off. You got a lot of installers. about that I don't know who installed these but that makes it nice and as suspected I said this one might have one stage I got no compressors running so I'm gonna assume this is my problem and there's another I guess that's an outdoor air sensor let's tear this apart and see What the hell they're doing with these sensors and this is a carrier so i'm gonna bet i got a cap tube rubbing somewhere carrier's gotta have a cap tube rubbing Touching the line there on the suction line, unless somebody pulled it off. All right, let's take the control panel off. Look at the diagram and see if we can find out what this stuff does. Why? I just noticed that. Cooling system problem, supplier temp drive for CC1 insufficient. Okay, so that makes sense. I haven't dealt too much with these Blemos. Somebody left the jumper. But it's the cooling's not sufficient because it's not seeing a temp drop. It's got wires hanging. Let's turn it off and decide and take a look at our wire diagram. See where all this shit ties in. I'm wondering why two is jumped out. God bless. You gotta love installers. At least they left me a light this time. It still works too. So, if we come down here, FPT, if you look over here, is your freeze protection. Uh, it's condensate overflow and FIOP is field installed option. MTS is a mixed air temperature switch. That might be actually what we're looking at. I don't know. And then low pressure switch, but it all ties back into low pressure on the control board. Which is right there, low pressure. So if we get in there and do that, we can see no tone. We're open. Let's go back around. So I dropped my wire, got my jumper. I think that should be good enough. It's hard to get in there.
There we go. All right, so that's closed. Let's ohm out our compressor. Make sure the compressor's okay. And we'll check the phasing. I don't know who installed these. Get off continuity. I don't need I don't need you beeping at me. 4.7 I don't know who installed them I don't know whose job it was to start them up but we may have solved our problem I need to go down and see uh, why we've got if it's unless it's a single stage thermostat we should be able to uh, stage the compressors would be better but again, I'm not going to go too far. I'm going to make it run right now. And then we'll see where we go from there. We've got compressors. I was looking at this. That's an outdoor. That's to the outdoor fan relay. I'm guessing it's going to cycle one of those fans as like a low ambient. Um, I haven't seen that. I guess that's a poor man's motor master. I don't know why. I guess motor master's too expensive. So let's make sure... So I've got to have a call. Let's make sure my stage two kicks in and then we'll go investigate and everything else. So it looks like the Belimo is controlling our staging. CC1 on, CC2 off. There's our supplier, Tim. That's what it was not seeing drop, so I was saying there was an issue. Outdoor air, probably about right. There was no return air, we saw that. Um, in position presser two off checking supplier temp okay so it's just kind of waiting to bring that stage two on so we got two stages now we are looking good we've got information on everything let's go little electrical tape and that is a jumper rather than my alligator clips because they might fall off. And we don't want that happening. Let's go do that. So I've been running for a little while. We have 55 degree supplier. Um, I'm not making any adjustments on this thing. We're going to let them decide what they want to do. I can't. Uh, they called for a service call on this guy. I fixed it. I found our problem. We need to order that freeze protection and they had no complaints anywhere else. So I got one, two, three, uh, four new ones. If they haven't done a startup, they need to come back and do a startup. I don't, I'm not gonna spend the rest of the day doing a startup. That's, that's not my job right now. So my job is to fix the air condition and we did that. I'll try to keep track of all of our, shove my manuals down in there. The condenser section's not gonna work, guys. Don't shove your manuals inside the condenser. There's not a whole lot of room inside here, I get it. And I wish they would give us somewhere to put stuff like that, because they always get shoved inside the condenser. And then they're useless by the time we get to them. So let's use that as a jumper and some electric tape. Go for that. Jumped, I'm not going nowhere. And then we tape it. Make sure it doesn't short out on anything or do anything stupid. And then after you tape it, fold over a tab on the end. And now you got a tab to grab to untape it. Come off there nice and easy. And we'll just put that right there. Turn this guy back on and be good to go. It should be the only thing, like I said, I'm not doing anything else. Uh, we're just, I'm writing, I'm keeping it with facts. Uh, I found the freeze protection bad. Uh, everything's operational. The thermostats uh, looks like it should be capable of two stays, but we're not wired that way. Um, facts only. And we'll decide, hey, the installers need to come back and start them up, or we need to come back and spend a day or hours or whatever and start everything else up. It's hot right now. And I'm sure we got other stuff to do, so I'm going to go find something else to do. Leave a trade better than you found it. I'll see you all next time.